I want to chat with you guys about food photography props. Food photography is a really big part of my business and it's something I do almost every single day, definitely every week. And I'm self-taught with food photography. It's definitely something that um, you just have to get started with and uh, be motivated to improve and practice, 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 and you'll get better as you go. So if you're interested in food photography, maybe you have your own blog or you just want to take good food photos, I wanted to talk with you guys today about food photography props because um, you know, good camera, good editing uh, program, uh, good food styling skills, those are all really important. But today we'll just talk about food photography props. So um, I like to go to Target to get food photography props. You can go to so many different places, garage sales, um, you could go to just so many different stores to find props because really it depends on your style, but so many great things can be props. But I like to go to Target, it's just easy, it's simple. Um, so I'm always looking for some things. So I thought I would take you guys on our recent trip to Target. Um, we kind of vlogged going to Target and sharing with you guys some of the things that we discovered and that we'd like to find. I originally liked this because how it crisscrosses in the back, mm -hmm. but we think that it's too big. But I really a little too like, wide. Yeah, just overall it doesn't fit, but I like the stripes and I like the crisscrosses. Maybe we could make new holes on the straps so it's tighter. Yeah, maybe. One thing that I like about Target is that they have a lot of white dishes. And I really like a very bright white aesthetic. Aesthetic, I think that's the right way to say it. And so I like that Target has just a whole aisle for white dishes. So that's a good place to go find things like that. I also really like getting little dishes like these. So these are little dishes that I often will use for extra ingredients. So for example, I could put salt in here or let's say I'm doing a photo of um, a soup and there's a little cilantro garnish on the soup. I may put some cilantro in this little bowl off to the side um, to kind of you know, tie everything in together. And it just makes your photos more interesting to have like extra little props. So these are really good little bowls, ramekins or little things like that for extra little props. Another thing I really like is um, linen napkins or napkins or dish towels and you'll see this in our photos a lot where I'll have a picture and then I'll put a little dish towel and it kind of just tells the story a little bit or creates a story of what's going on with that meal. For example, maybe it's something like hot out of the oven so you had a dish towel there or you're eating, you know, and so you have a napkin there next to your meal. Um, but these, these I got from Target. Um, they have just, these are white and this is the color natural. And these are great, they're really soft, so they're really easy to kind of crinkle up and put next to um, like a dish or something like that. But some good dish towels, some good linens. And as, as you get into food photography, you will start seeing food photography props everywhere. Every store you go to, you think, oh, that dish towel is great, or oh, that little bowl would be so good for something. So next is silverware. Yeah, and I'll get some forks. I wish they had some littler forks. These are like the giant ones, but these are really good for photography because they're not reflective. Like this one here, like you can see yourself in it. So then you always are reflective in your photo, but these you're not. So it's nice to get ones that are like, what would you call this finish? It's like dull kind of? A little bit. Yeah, and then it's not as reflective. So. These are actually the first silverware that I have purchased specifically for food photography because I used to just use our, our own actual silverware. And our silverware was more traditional, like a silver, and it was really reflective. And so every time I would take a food photo, um, I could see myself in the picture. There was like little me with the camera always reflecting back in my utensils and I would always have to edit that part out. Um, I also sometimes just like to like mix it up and try something new. I've been using more you know traditional silver um, silverware for a long time but I really like this color. It's like a gold brass color. The next thing is having some good serving boards or cutting boards. They're really nice to put under a plate or just to kind of have as a prop in your photo. So I found this on sale. It's on sale for six dollars and ninety eight cents. It's on clearance actually. It's from Architect Housewares but this is a really good serving board so you can get really creative with it and use it in so many different ways put food on it but we're gonna get this good find so it's good to have lots of different things because you never know until you start taking the picture like 
what serving tray or exactly what napkin is going to maybe look good in that photo. So another thing is lots of glassware. So we found these at Target. They say salute on them, which means health. And I like to have lots of different looks for um, glassware because, for example, we make a lot of similar recipes, just different version of them version of them, lots of smoothies, chia puddings, and if we make, even if it's a different recipe, if it's constantly in the same glassware, it kind of gets repetitive. So it's fun to have just lots of different glassware to kind of mix it up and make it look different. So those are just a few things that I got from Target. I guess this would be considered a Target food photography haul. Um, but there's other great stores, World Market it could be another great place. Um, can't think of anything off the top of my head. Amazon, you can always search there for places. Again, garage sales. Um, if you guys do food photography, maybe you have some good ideas below. Or even just family members, maybe they have some, you know, kitchen items, um, fun plates or bowls or things that they're not using anymore that could be good for food photos. But um, I wanted to share with you guys some ideas for food photography props. And basically my tips, if you are into food photography, is to practice, practice, practice. You'll get better if you keep practicing at it. Um, and then just get creative, have fun with it. When I take photos, I probably take 100 to up to 300 photos of a single recipe, which is a lot. But what I do is I'm constantly clicking, moving something, clicking, moving something. Um, you know, I, I do a photo from this angle, then from this angle, then from overhead, and then, you know, from this angle. And so you never know what angle is going to be the best angle. And sometimes, you know, it's the photo where you're at this angle is not good, but then when you're a little bit this way, it gets better. So just lots of photos, lots of practice, and then have lots of good fun props that really match your photography style. But just a quick video, I wanted to share with you guys some tips if you wanna get into food photography or you wanna improve it. Um, this channel is just really casual and a fun way for us to share with you just kind of more behind the scenes of our life and our business. And I hope you found this, found this video to be helpful. And thanks for subscribing to our channel. Also make sure you're subscribed to our main channel, Healthy Grocery Girl. And we love you guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.